Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to another edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Today, we're going to look at a cool plugin that comes with Photoshop that's a great way to share high resolution images on the web so your clients can check them out. It's called Zoomify, and what it does is it takes a large high resolution image and breaks it up into an interactive image that can be viewed on the web quite easily. Let's see how. So I've gone ahead and opened up an image here and you can use really any photo that you have. And what you want to do is choose file export zoomify. Now this is part of Photoshop CS3. So you'll need to have that installed. When I do that, it says, what do you want to do? And you're presented with a couple of templates here. You could use a black, gray, or white background, or you could toss in a navigator. I highly recommend using the navigator because it'll be useful as they try to navigate around the image. Now, if you've got a photography background, you know that the best way to present images is over a gray background. The idea here is that by using a neutral gray, you're not influencing the viewer's eye with the color. If you go over black or white, it may change how they feel about the exposure of the image or the saturation of color. A neutral gray is just that, very neutral, and has minimal impact upon the viewer's experience of the photo. We'll go ahead and choose the gray background here, and we need to specify an output location. So let's just go out to our desktop because all folders belong on the desktop, and we'll call this Zoomify. And I'll hit choose. And then we have the ability to specify a quality here. Now, we're going to specify to use the maximum quality, which is fine, which is down as 10, although technically that's not maximum quality. You can go all the way up to 12. I've never quite understood why JPEG calls 10 maximum quality, but the slider goes to 12, but that's okay. I'm not a web person. Let's jump that back down to 10, which should be more than adequate, and we'll tell it to optimize the tables. You then specify how big of a window you want to use in the web browser. Currently, it's going to use a 400 by 400 pixel image. Because this image is wider than it is tall, I'm going to change this to 400 by 250 to more closely match the original aspect ratio of the photo, which is wider. We leave the open in web browser button checked, and then we can click OK. When you do this, Photoshop is going to quickly cut this up into small pieces and build a web page for you. You could then use this and put it into an existing web page using an embed code, copying and pasting the code, etc. You see here we've got our little image. Up top is the navigator showing us what's going on, and we can go ahead and zoom in. And you see as you zoom in, the image actually loads at higher resolution. You could pan around the image and look at the individual details of the photo. The navigator up top here is just like Photoshop's navigator, so you can actually grab that box and move around. And notice that when you pause, it loads the image in at high detail. So we have the ability to go in very far for magnification and actually pan around. This is a great way if you have a particular client who wants to look at the finer details of the image or do things like really check focus. And that works great. You've got some basic navigation controls here that let them pan as needed. And the last button will zoom you out. So very, very simple. And it works very well. This is actually a Flash Player script, so you can go ahead and embed that as a Swift file into a page. Let's jump back to Photoshop for a second. We'll do that one more time with another image. Let's go ahead and say File, Export, Zoomify. We'll go ahead and go out to the desktop. There's our new folder. That's fine. Good. And maximum quality. Let's this time just use a gray background without the navigator. And we'll click OK. There we go. It's loaded. You see you could zoom in to see the image. And as you zoom in, it loads at high resolution. So you could check details like focus. We could pan around and look at the image, seeing individual details. And as we get to areas of the image, it loads it at high resolution. This cuts down on load times because it only loads the quality image when it needs to, when you're zoomed in. Click the button here and it pulls all the way back out. If we drop out to the desktop really quick, you'll see here that we can actually easily access this. 
Here's the Zoomify folder. And inside is an HTML document and then a folder full of images. It's using a Swift file to play that back. And then all of the individual image tiles are preloaded so you could zoom in to different magnifications. This is a piece of cake. You could very easily embed this into a website or a web page as needed. For understanding Adobe Photoshop, I'm your host, Rich Harrington. Be sure to check out our resource blog at rastervector.com, where you can subscribe to the free weekly podcast, as well as download additional tutorials and resources to help you get more out of Adobe Photoshop. Thanks again.